line. I'm so excited to talk to an ESPN NFL football analyst and a three-time Super Bowl champion. Well, I'm feeling pretty special today. Well, good. I'm glad that you're feeling that way. <laughs> well, I was doing some research on you, and you had a stellar p- career. If I'm correct, and you have to forgive me, I'm not football literate as I should be, you played guard in the NFL for 12 seasons with the Washington Redskins and the Denver Broncos? Yes, indeed. You are correct. I am so... I have good people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am just so impressed by that 12 seasons. That is incredible. Yeah, well, it'll beat you up a little bit, but uh, it was a good it was a good run, as they say. Well, I know you guys like that rough, tough stuff. Why, I can't understand. But anyway, I know guys love football. Well, you're going to talk to me today. We're going to talk about a couple things, and I'm going to hold you to give me some predictions about the Super Bowl so I can be very knowledgeable at my football party more than anybody else, okay? That sounds perfect. (laughs) That sounds good. Okay, tell me, uh, what are the must-haves for my Super Bowl party? I want to have a good Super Bowl party every year. You know, one year I cook soup. Somebody should have told me you don't do that at the Super Bowl. <laughs> Absolutely. You got to have snack food. You got to have great stuff. And, and, you know, it's not just about coming to see the game. It's about getting together and having great food and turning the Super Bowl viewing into a, a party. And first, it starts with your TV set because you got to have a great big screen. And Walmart has a great special on a big screen 60 inch Vizio television set. $798 and it's easy. You can log on to walmart.com. You can purchase it. When you go to pick it up, that's when you pick up the food so that you can have a great Super Bowl party. It's not the soup, it's the other stuff. And I'm going to start with pizza because everybody loves pizza at a party. It's not a party until you have pizza. And Schwann Consumers Brands, they have the great stuff. Red Baron Classic Crust Pepperoni Pizza. Great for the kids, loaded with pepperoni and cheese. They'll love it. Freshetta for the adults, the classic Supreme Pizza. Sausage, pepperoni, peppers, a naturally rising crust, all natural ingredients. And when you talk about natural ingredients, then you've got to go to the Farmer's Garden by Vlasic. Not just pickles, Farmer Garden, Farmer's Garden by Vlasic. It's more than pickles. It's the 2013 product of the year in the vegetable category. Just like grandma used to make fresh from the farm into the jar, Carrots, peppers, garlic, great garnish for your sliders. Uh, They're just tremendous. And then it's about snack food, and everybody likes to talk about chips, but people talk about greasiness of chips and the calories of chips. I have a wonderful alternative, pretzel crisps. Uh, 19 different flavors, uh, only 110 calories per serving. They've got a couple of new flavors that they want me to tell you about. Honey mustard and onion, a great way to make a little sandwich out of those. You put a little smoked turkey, some brie cheese, make a sandwich. Or there are other new flavors, sea salt and cracked pepper right here, a little bacon on top, a little maple syrup, gives it a little sweet and salty taste. Uh, It's a great way to snack, and it's all about the party, creating the party and the food and the atmosphere and friends. It's the three Fs, I like to say, Football, fellowship, and food. Does you can't go Those wrong with that. These have been a good taste tester. They prepped you very well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. I really do. Okay, so when I throw this football party, right? Okay. Yes. So, so what do you start? Where do you start for maybe some people who haven't done this? Where do you start with their entertaining? I know we start with the food, right? Yeah, you've got to start with the food. It's all about the food and, and people, you know, once you get the food and it's around the table, people start to snack, people start to talk. you got the stuff on, the pregame on, in the background, and it's a great way just to kind of get together and, uh, and like I said, fellowship, get to know one another and have some great eats and uh, get ready for a great game. Oh, you use one of my favorite words, fellowship. Mm-hmm. Mm, I like you already. Let me ask you, uh, all right, what are, what are your um, – playoff prediction well for me my playoff prediction you know back in july espn always makes us pick our super bowl contenders or our super bowl matchup and which is kind of crazy because you don't get to see any any games but i picked the broncos to play the san francisco 49ers in the super bowl back in july i'm going to stick with that prediction san francisco on the nfc side is playing really well right now big physical football team i do believe they can go on the road in seattle one of the toughest places to play in the national football league and get a victory two young quarterbacks in this matchup two great quarterbacks Russell Wilson has struggled
over the last five weeks for Seattle. And then Colin Kaepernick, who's really gotten better in the last five weeks. So that's kind of the matchup right there. I like San Francisco coming out of the NFC. And then the AFC, it's two iconic quarterbacks, two guys that have been doing it for almost two decades. Tom Brady for the New England Patriots versus Peyton Manning for the Denver Broncos. Peyton Manning's had a historically good season. And Bill Belichick and, and the head coach of the New England Patriots, Tom Brady, they've overcome injuries. They've overcome a lot of issues. But I think in Denver, the Broncos win that football game and head to the Super Bowl. So those are my, those are my predictions for the Super Bowl. Okay, I'm writing that down, and I'm going to take it to the party and act like it's mine. Okay, now, good. let me ask you this. <laughs> uh, Derek Coleman, this has been trending. I talked to Google this morning. This has really been trending, and I'm sure you know who he is. It, it, is this just why are we so enthralled with someone who's deaf? I'm looking for the day when you are who you are. It's no big deal because you're deaf or you're blind or whatever, but because he's deaf, he has been the hottest thing on the internet. Yeah, it's it is amazing, but um, you know that's just kind of the society that we live in. We're in that instant information, that instant uh, you know headline, and and that's just part of uh, you know that's part of the the world we live in, unfortunately. But um, you know there's so many great stories and so many great uh, people, and I and I I tend to love to focus on that stuff, just the excitement, and the great people that are out there that make things uh, that make things special for everybody. Mark, before I let you go, you anywhere you want to send my audience on the web? Uh, you know what? You can go find everything at Walmart.com. You can go to uh, Schwann's on Facebook, Vlasic.com, or PretzelCrisp.com if you want more information on the Super Bowl party. And uh, you guys just have a, a wonderful weekend. Have a blessed time with all your peoples. Mark Sherriff, thank you so much. Thank I you. I really appreciate it. Take care.